So hi. So Vice. What about it? Vice is a movie about Dick Cheney following his entire life, uh, not entire life, but his life from his young, early ages, probably in his 20s, to his rise to power, and then his eventual vice presidency, um, and a little bit afterwards, of the Bush presidency. George W. Yes, George W. Bush. What a putz. Yeah. George Bush. What should we talk about? I don't know. What did you think about the film? I thought I enjoyed most of the experience. I thought that it was uh, I thought that it was very well made, very well written. The like the editing was phenomenal. I do think that it leaned very heavily um, on a political message. The film is funny and intriguing and interesting and kind of scary like just to think about the implications but i do think that there's some moments where the political messaging takes away from the actual story that's being told in the film. i would agree it leans very heavily on its political charms in fact it does a lot of uh uh kvetching and uh a lot of spilling out of the facts in a in a way that's very generalized and broad stroke well, but arguably, that could be a good thing. Yeah, well, you know, I don't go to movies to see politics, you know. That's true. It was a very long political essay that was edited very well. What do you think of the performances? Uh, the, perform the, actors? The, the performances and the actors were both incredible. Christian Bale and um, Amy Adams. That's her name. Yeah. Amy Adams and... Not to be confused with Andrew McKay. The director of the film. Yes, we can't forget Andrew McKay. Who looks Andrew. just like Amy Adams, you know? Exactly. Does, does he? No. Yeah, Amy Adams' performance was incredible. And Christian Bale, obviously, his performance in this film, I think it might be one of his best performances yet. He was really fat. He was extremely fat, which... He was really fat. Um, which actually really added to the character. Um... The casting in this film was absolutely on point. Every single character in the film was interesting and dynamic and hateable and lovable at the same time. And it had a lot of that charm that films like The Big Short or other films like that have that are like serious but have a lot of satirical and comedic elements to them. That is actually one critique I have about this film. There's certain moments that are played for comedy that because of the editing or something that happens in the film, it's very comedic, but it's very jarring. It takes itself very seriously until all of a sudden it doesn't. And the, the moments are really funny and interesting, but they kind of take you out of the story that's happening at the moment. I know it was a purposeful choice by the directors to do this, but it was also, as an audience member, disorienting, if that makes sense. That does make sense. And I have to agree with you. It was a, a very choppy film as far as the tone and the comedic punches yeah. and whatnot. But I don't know. Overall, I, I think it, it succeeded at punching its points. And uh, I think that the casting was very good. And that as a result, the acting really pulled the film through. It did. Yeah. It did. So, Rabbi Goldsteinberg, mm. what is what was your favorite part of the film? I think my favorite part of the film was when they were kind of going through Dick Cheney's progression in, in politics and how they kind of talked about the, the obscure silent man in the shadows and that whole concept of, mm -hmm. you know, the, the quiet uh, planning man, you know, like there's some spiel that they put in the middle of the film on mm -hmm. text. There's a lot of text in this movie, I had to do a lot of reading. Which actually, it, it kind of fit the style and all, but I don't know. I don't like reading in my films usually, unless it's like we're in Scotland or something and they have the little little lower third on the bottom, whatever, you know, just so we know. <laughs> it was kind of reminiscent of a, of a, uh, like a, a drama, comedy, political film, you know, of the past, like the big short that the director directed or you know something like a wolf of wall street where mm -hmm. 
But yeah, just kind of see the inner workings of this thing done in a satirical way, but also kind of taking itself seriously. Yeah. I kind of like that. I know we might have already mentioned this before, but that was something that was really hard. There was this jarring nature of the editing that it would go back and forth between something that was very funny and then extremely serious. And sometimes it didn't strike that balance very well. Sometimes it did. Sometimes it worked very perfectly. Sometimes it felt like we were being a little cheated out of a better scene, or it just felt filmmakers weren't even taking themselves very seriously, or their audience very seriously. It's hard to tell what watching this film exactly, what those editing choices were really supposed to mean. Because usually when you put something like that in a film, you know, you're trying to evoke an emotion like humor, but you're also trying to mean something by it. And it's hard to know what this film was actually trying to mean in those moments when it was just being ridiculous. Indeed. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Overall, what would you rate the film? I think I'd give this film probably like a 7 out of 10. I think that it has a lot of very good things about it. I, I Like I said, I enjoyed the film a lot. They took the character, at least in the film of Dick Cheney, very seriously. I think it does have some... some... some flaws to it like the entire film is basically just a montage like it doesn't there's there's very few scenes that are actual scenes like that actually have a beginning middle and an end and something happens throughout the scene and it plays itself through it's mostly it's very shot like a documentary and structured like a documentary but also a narrative and it does a very good job which is why i give it a 7 out of 10 but it also has some issues that come along. So a 7 out of 10. I really liked it. I think there's some things they could have done better. Um, but overall, it was a really great film. Indeed. Yeah. I, I am going to give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah? What is that? I, I really enjoyed the, uh, the theatrics of it. Uh, the cinematography was good. You know, the makeup was incredible. I don't think I've ever seen makeup that convincing in a film before. That's, that's true. Uh, the actors brought their air game. Steve Carell, Christian Bale, yeah. all of them. Spectacular. The structure and narrative of the film I thought was a little choppy and weak. And it, it got its point across, but I think just the way that they handled the story mm -hmm. was a little bit... Uh, it didn't know what it wanted to be exactly. It was a little too satirical at times, and then it was a little too serious, and I think the end result just kind of felt a little awkward. Uh, I liked some of the tone when it was being funny. I thought uh, it should have kind of been more satirical the whole rest of the way through the film. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, it was a little politically motivated, and uh, I I'm interested to see what this director has in the future, you know? Yeah, definitely. I think this was definitely a extremely good offering as far as a film goes by this director, who I can't remember his name. He only plastered it on the screen like 12 times. Adam McKay. Adam McKay. Uh, well, cool. Yeah. That was our thoughts on Vice. That's it. Go home, folks. Leave your comments and whatever, and the, like the video, and subscribe, and all that. Okay, alright. Uh... Hey, Rabbi. What? What the f are you doing in my house, bro? Hey, uh, do we just have to finish the video. Uh, what video? What are you talking about? We gotta. We already filmed the video. Uh, yeah, I, but we have we didn't tell them like any of the information about our site or any, whatever. Any of the information? What do they need to know? It's a fucking YouTube channel. Like what? We they don't know what channel we are. The Joe Review channel, the one they saw the fucking video on. Well, what about what? Did, what no, did you find no, at the? No, get the, the fuck oh, out of my Holy house. Shit.